Hello, this is Lord Og, and welcome to Cooking with Lord Og. <laughs> yes, it's another great recipe for you. You know, this today's meal is a it's a tasty dish with great texture and flavour. The herbs and spices run in harmony together. Vegetables cooked al dente, and uh, then right before you swallow, you get a fiery hit of chili just to round the meal off perfectly <laughs> okay i'll try to make that sound professional sorry about that <laughs> there is no chilies in it forget it no this is actually though one of my favorite recipes this is my one of one of my go-to recipes one of the recipes i have in my food chest i'm gonna do i'm gonna tell you about now it's an easy recipe but you do need one ingredient and that's honey and that's why another reason why it's good to have bee boxes lying around or at least have a camp near a beehive, but be ready to run from the bees if you try and get over the honey. See, bee boxes, you can actually get the honey yourself. With a beehive, you have to actually destroy the hive, which means you have to kill the bees, then destroy the hive to get the honey. Whereas if you make some bee boxes, you can then just go and collect the honey. Now, we're going to make, I'll show you today. Today we're going to make this. We're going to make honey ham. Okay? Now, uh, let me actually take this honey ham and eat it. And I don't need to actually, you don't actually need to see the stats because I'll be telling you them anyway. And you'll be very impressed. But what I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to cook it. So as I say, you can go to your bee boxes and you can click on them and you can get your, uh, oh, I always take a knock from them when they first come out. They don't always, sometimes they're out, out in the fields with the flowers and that. And you sometimes collect your honey and they don't bother you. But uh, this only was interest anyway, so it's no big deal. And I picked up six there, so, you know, just quickly. Now, this is how you make honey ham. You come over to a crock pot, and you put two meats, not morsels, your two meats in the crock pot. One, two. And you put them in, and then we put in two honey, like that. And then we click the cook. Now, they will cook, and they will come up with... Uh, the honey ham, which is there. Now, the, the reason I have honey ham, I think I've got it in this chest. No, I've got it in this chest then. Yeah, I've got them here, look, got six here. Uh, the reason I have honey ham is because you get a very good hit of both hit points and hunger points. So it's really a great one to go to. So here we are. You ready for the stats on this? Okay, so honey ham is hunger, get ready for this, 81 so it is our biggest one yet the highest we had before was the meat the four meat meaty stew which was 80 well this gives 81 now whereas that the four meat meaty stew did, did something like 30 something i think no 20 with 25 hit points get ready for this this one does 65 hit points so you get 81 hunger and 65 hit points all in one go just one meal will hit you with all that so you know you can go out hunting you can be out in the middle of nowhere you're getting hungry you get a tentacle monster come up and whap you about a couple of times don't matter hit one of your of your honey ham and you're near enough full up you know so uh, well if a tentacle monster hits you anyway you're near enough full up but it'll fill you up against most things so that's what we're gonna get i'm only talking because i want to wait and let you see it pop up and see it here so uh, that's what we'll, we'll be doing. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I did I did actually remember after the previous video that you've just seen me post will be a, a one telling you guys partly what I did, what I have here in my camp and what I use and that kind of thing. And I did say at one point I was going to show you guys what this was, what this did. Uh, not in that chest, that one. The uh, miner's hat and how to make it and that. Uh, I didn't. I forgot to do it, so uh, I will do that in another episode. Don't worry. But uh, here we are. Here it is. You harvest your crock pot, and uh, that's it. You've now got a honey ham. And uh, there is really only one way to make this. I can't give you other choices. I can't because it's called honey ham. You need honey and you need ham. So you need meat and you need honey. There's no other way. I'm not going to say throw some carrots in. <laughs> so it's not going to work. So there you go. Get some bee some bee boxes put down. You need to put them down really because if you, you if you've only got so many 
uh, hives on your world. And if you destroy them hives, they've gone. But this is the thing. To create a bee box, you need honeycomb. And honeycomb can be found in the bottom where you destroy a, a honey a bees beehive. In the bottom, you'll get like five or six pieces of honey, but you'll also get a honeycomb. And then you can come back, I'll show you where it is. Here. And there's the honeycomb. And you can pick that up, and then you can bring it back with you to your camp, and you can build a bee box. If you see another, another um, beehive, go and get the honeycomb from that, and you can build another one. Get your honey together, and uh, there you go. You can make yourself a honey hat. So one more time, it's hunger 81 and HP, heat points 65. Well that's it guys, it's been a short one, but that's because there's only one way to make it. You know how to get the the meat, you know, I've explained that to you. You can get it from, you'll get six from a beefalo if you kill it. You'll get one from a pig if you kill it. Sometimes it drops a pig skin instead, but usually it'll drop a meat, so you can get one from there. If you, can, if you kill it, you can get one from a tall bird, if you kill that, and uh, I'm trying to think of anything else, have I missed anything? No, uh, I think that's about it, but there's plenty of ways to get meat anyway, so you need meat, you know how to get that, and you need honey, and I've just showed you how to get that, mix them together for absolutely amazing honey ham that will keep you alive in a very tough spot. Well that's it guys, I hope that's helped you, and uh if you have any other tips to give me that you'd like me to pass on, because I've had people give me some tips, and I have put them in videos and give, given them the credit. So if you have some tips you want me to add on, please let me know, and I'll add them on and put your name to it, of course. If you have any questions, like how do I do something, what does something do, how does something work, let me know, and I will answer them for you if I can. And uh, otherwise, I will see you again, either for the next cooking with Lord Dog or for video for 250 days which hopefully won't take long so for now you take really good care of yourselves and goodbye for now my friends <laughs>